Meet Teddy. Teddy is going for his first ride on Moon Dancer today, and we'll see how he does. Well, she was pretty cool about letting Teddy get in there. I don't know, we've got uh, something to hold his feet on. Well, she's handling him being up there pretty good. Why don't you just kind of walk him a little bit, walk her a little bit, and see if he moves, and if she freaks out and bucks him off. So far, she's handling it quite well. He's not really on there very well, but oh well, let's give it a shot. He'll fall off if, remember, side to side. So get her going one side or another. There you go, come on. Keep going to side, there you go. It should move. <laughs> remember, if they don't go forward, go side to side and try not to stand directly in front of them. So just walk, there you go. Let's see if she'll go. There you go, good. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. He's not real well balanced, but he's just kind of going around there. But she's walking. That's good. <laughs> okay. So what we're doing is we are, we've got a gorilla tie, which is just basically like a, uh, um, just a little tie that we have one to a night latch and one to the saddle horn because his legs weren't long enough to get into the stirrups <laughs> but we're just that's just going to hold him on if she if she bucks those will come off pretty easily the whole objective here is it's just kind of lightly being held on if she freaks out you know it's not going to be too bad okay let's take her for a walk and see how she does so far she's handling it pretty good Come on. Remember, if she doesn't go forward, go side to side. It's getting them to walk forward. That's the hard part. Come on. Come on. I'm going to give her a little motivation from behind. Let's walk. There you go. Good. <laughs> She's handling the teddy bear, too. Pretty good. See, no problem with the teddy bear. She's okay with something being up there. There's no real weight. <laughs> and he's a little bit on the floppy side. Oh, there we go. She's she's bowing up now because it feels weird. Get ready. Oh, she's handling it really well, though. Okay, he's about to fall. He's become unbalanced. He's become un Stop, stop, stop. Okay. There we go. Oh, that's good. Teddy's just hanging there. He's like, save me. So these things will pop off pretty easily. There we go. Just going to pop him off. Okay, Teddy, you did good. All right, so Moon Dancer hasn't been ridden in two years, and her first ride is with Mr. Teddy. Teddy's just draped over top of her. The teddy bear's been doing an excellent job at staying on. <laughs> He's not very good at equitation, though. I will have to say that. Let's sit him up a little bit. Ride him, teddy bear, ride. <laughs> he keeps falling off. We have his uh, little hand zip tied. You might want to, let's see if he'll throw his little head back. Uh, come on, sit up there. Sit up there, teddy. <laughs> Moon's like, oh. She's looking at you, and though. She's not having such a bad time with it. She's perfectly cool with this. When he falls off, she just has been behaving really well. She hasn't jumped or gotten freaked out. He's going to fall. There you go. See how he falls over to one side and she's not really bothered by it. She's just kind of like, okay, we good. <laughs> but see, since his hands are holding on to, well, his teddy bear paws are holding on to everything, he just kind of slips off when his little feet come out. <laughs> there we go. Good girl, Moon. Hold on, Teddy. Hold on for dear life. <laughs> and that's the teddy bear ride. If it falls off like it's about to do, we just tell her, whoa, and readjust it. So she kind of learns that if something goes wrong, she stops. That's kind of the whole purpose of this, is we don't want to freak her out, but we do want, to, want her to keep going and understand 
that that teddy bear coming off the side is like a human. Okay, next time he goes, just let the teddy bear fall. And as soon as the teddy bear falls, just pay attention and say, whoa, okay? So, if you can't go forward, go side to side. So there we go, good. The teddy bear is actually a fairly balanced rider. And the horse hasn't freaked out. That's been the big thing. If she were to buck, start kicking, or throw some kind of objection to that teddy bear being on her. Oh, there we go. That was our first little, uh, <laughs> she kind of felt something weird going on. There you go. She kind of braced a little bit. And hopefully, because the teddy's going to probably fall off here pretty soon. Get ready to go when it falls off. And remember when he falls, just yell, whoa. There you go. Keep walking, keep walking. There we go. <laughs> You're doing really good. All right. See if you can get her to trot a little bit. Come on. Can we get to go a little faster? Come on. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> just a little bit faster just to see what it does. Because it'll... Well, she's not really... Go ahead and loosen, uh, loosen your grip. Oh, there we go. Whoa! Remember, as soon as Teddy falls, we stop, release, say, good girl. Licking and chewing, and let's fix Teddy. So, that right there is going to be the basis of, if something goes wrong, she knows when we say, whoa, that means stop. And she gets the idea, because she's licking and chewing, she pretty much understands it as soon as he's back up there. Good job. All right, so teddy bear step, very successful. If you are starting a young horse or it's been a while since the horse has worked out, putting that teddy bear on and whoa, when the horse falls or when the teddy bear falls, being all nice and calm means that you're probably not going to have a rodeo. It's probably not going to be that big of a deal. They've accepted that there's something on their back, and they're going to be pretty cool with it. So there you go. There's our teddy bear on the Mustang. Thanks for joining us on today's video. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And remember to see more, check out our playlist.